But first to a CTV News investigation into car thefts and technology that could leave your vehicle vulnerable. On average, 32 cars are stolen off Toronto streets every day, and that number appears to be on the rise. CTV's John Woodward joins us live with more on how tech-savvy thieves are finding new ways to steal vehicles. Yeah, Nathan, however bad you thought it was last year, it is now worse as a digital arms race pits tech-savvy thieves against cars. The lights start flashing on Zachary Kozak's Ram truck, but there's no sound. The thieves have disabled the horn. It, I was shocked, to be honest with you. Uh, they definitely came in knowing exactly what they were going for, and they knew exactly what they were doing. Once inside, they access the $80,000 truck's computer. A short time later, they're gone. In a matter of seven minutes, my vehicle was taken from me. The tech trick, one of several employed by thieves who have traded a crowbar for portable devices like these seized by the OPP recently to fool cars into thinking a dummy fob is the owner's own key. Several Ontario forces have warned about stolen rams in recent weeks. It appears that uh, the thieves have uh, become very sophisticated. Uh, these vehicles uh, have more modern comfort features that us as drivers enjoy. And uh, it appears that these thieves have found a way to manipulate uh, that, that piece of technology to their favor. Another method, a relay attack. Caught on video in York Region, a man catching a signal emitted from a key fob left by the door. He rebroadcasts it to the car, which starts a moment later. These tactics contributing to a staggering rise in Canadian car theft. Toronto statistics show there were 453 cars stolen in the first two weeks of the year, up 45% from the same period last year. In the city, that's over 32 cars every single day. Police recovering millions in vehicles in investigations like Project Touchdown, but many go on to be used in other crimes or sold overseas. Certainly, it's, uh, it is very frustrating, um, especially when you see great volumes. Some cars so easy to hit, an American class action lawsuit claims that it became a challenge on social media site TikTok. The Kia challenge, as it's called, they are very easy, unfortunately, to steal. One of the key issues today is that manufacturers are not keeping up with security vulnerabilities. Cybersecurity expert Claudio Popa says it's time car companies defended these like a series of cyber attacks and add measures like password protection. These are computers on wheels. Stellantis, which makes the Ram, said it is doing that for models, including the Charger and the Challenger, to limit the car's speed without a passcode saying we use industry standard vehicle technology as with other vehicle features we are engaged in continuous product improvement. Improvement that takes time and hasn't yet made it to the Ram lineup, which may be one reason the thieves are choosing that vehicle today. I feel this like, car manufacturer should be doing more. So others don't have to watch their car drive away without them. We're told another manufacturer is looking at changing the signals from these fobs. When they aren't moving, they stop broadcasting, which is one way that could defeat that uh, relay broadcast you saw earlier as that arms race continues. Reporting live, I'm John Woodward. Back to you. All right. Thank you, John. And if you have a story idea for CTV News Investigates, please let us know. You can email investigate at ctv.ca or visit our website for more secure and anonymous ways to get in touch.